Just rebuilt your Porsche Boxster Cayman or 911 engine? Here's what you must do on first startup or risk destroying your fresh motor. Reset the ECU before you start the engine by performing a vehicle handover or system reset with a compatible scan tool. If you don't have a scan tool that can do this, disconnect both battery cables, then bridge them briefly with an incandescent test light to clear all adaptive memory. This ensures old fuel trims or safety maps from a failed engine don't overfuel the new one. Start with fresh fuel. If the car sat for over 30 days, drain the tank. Old fuel can foul injectors and ruin your new engine. Refill with top tier or ethanol free premium fuel. Use only new fuel injectors. Never reuse or just clean old ones. Faulty injectors cause rich running and bore wash. Use new genuine Porsche or OEM injectors. Fill the engine with coolant using the appropriate coolant lift tool, using a mix of Porsche approved coolant and distilled water, not tap water, and make sure to turn your heater to the highest fan and temperature setting during this process. Do not pre-fill the oil filter. Install the oil filter dry. Pre-filling it can cause overfilling and disrupt the oil priming sequence. Prime oil the right way. Do not crank the engine for pressure. Instead, start the engine for one second or less, or until it tries to fire off, then shut it off. Repeat this process five times or until you see at least two bar of oil pressure. Never let it run with less than one bar of oil pressure, as indicated on the dash gauge. Before fully starting the engine, it's important to prime the fuel system with a durametric tool. Once the engine starts, hold the throttle at 2000 RPM for 30 minutes. Avoid idling of the engine during this process. Change the oil and filter immediately after cam and lifter break in. Drain the break-in oil and replace it with a high-zinc, non-synthetic, non-friction modified oil. Using synthetic oil to break in your engine or switching over to one too soon are two of the biggest mistakes people make with their new engines. Now it is time to drive the car to seat the piston rings. From 30 miles per hour, accelerate to 50 miles per hour and then decelerate using engine braking. Repeat at least five times. Do the same, but in another gear, being sure to keep oil and coolant temperatures under 210 degrees Fahrenheit and avoid lugging the engine or high RPMs. Record the crankcase manometer reading before shutting the engine off. Repeat ring seating procedure after a complete thermal cycle. It is important to let the engine cool off completely before going back out for another round of engine braking, but only once the engine has reached full operating temperature. Recheck the manometer reading and repeat the thermal cycles and engine braking until the rings are fully seated. Manometers should read between 5 and 6 inches of water column, assuming the engine has conventional piston rings and a factory Porsche AOS once the rings are fully seated. Check and record fuel trims as well as any other required information from the DME, like over revs. If you have access to a PWIZ, generate a valve file. In summary, here are a few pro tips. Never overfill the engine with oil. Keep oil just above the minimum mark during break-in. Replace the mass airflow, oxygen, or any other sensors the ECU relies on. Avoid aftermarket tunes, cold air intakes, or solid engine or transmission mounts. Avoid radiator grill screens, which reduce radiator efficiency. Lastly, no partial or full synthetics or highly friction modified oils should be used until after the engine has been fully broken in or at least three to 5,000 miles. Rebuilding and installing a Porsche engine requires not only specific knowledge and specialized tools, but a methodical approach with an attention to detail. When in doubt, it's always wise to use a LN certified Porsche shop to install and test your new engine. Call or visit lnengineering.com to learn more.